electrolysis of luminol solution on a small scale. We're going to carry out the experiment on this glass microscope slide and we start by taking a few milligrams of luminol and we just take a small amount of the solid and place it on the slide maybe a little bit more than that remembering not to create the dust it's the dust that's hazardous and we don't want to breathe that in onto that we're going to drop one drop of six percent hydrogen peroxide there we go you'll notice that the luminol doesn't dissolve in the hydrogen peroxide but as soon as we add one to two drops of sodium hydroxide things improve one two drops there next we mix that rather unconventionally with a spatula so if you've got that seem to have spilt some sodium hydroxide drop there and you can see that the luminol solid is dissolving quite nicely into that mixture of hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide there and once we've done that we then need to take a carbon fiber anode which we'll place in the luminol there and we'll also have a carbon fiber cathode which we'll place alongside it there and then all we remains to be done is to turn the voltage on on the power pack we've got it start at six volts and we'll build up to turn it up to all the way to 12 volts there of course you can't see much happening in the light so we need to and once we do that you might be able to detect some of the chemiluminescent blue color there if we move the camera slightly closer should be able to pick that up that nice blue color of the luminol reaction under a electric current so that's the electrolysis of a luminol solution